Okay, good morning, you guys. <laughs> As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be a grocery haul and a uh, like fridge clean with me. So let me tell you, let me tell you what happened of how this video came about. So originally it was just supposed to be a grocery haul. And then as I was putting stuff away, as soon as I finished putting like the last thing away, I noticed that it was a spill. And I was like, okay, I can just wipe that up real quick, right? Because I didn't really feel like doing the, taking everything out again and cleaning the whole thing. And then I noticed another spill and I was like, okay, I can't just leave this like this so that's how the <laughs> fridge clean with me whole situation came about and that's why it's out of order so we're gonna go ahead and get into the grocery haul first and then we're gonna clean the fridge which technically is backwards from how i do things i usually like to clean first and then do the haul and then you'll see me put everything away but it didn't happen that way <laughs> And I just wanted to come on and give you guys a heads up that it's kind of like a flip-flop today. But anyways, let's get into this haul. All right. So starting with the waffles, these are my latest cravings. I'll eat four at a time with some butter and syrup. Um, sometimes you just got to give in to your cravings. And then this pancake on a sausage has been a staple in my house for like a very long time everyone eats it my kids eat it quick breakfast then i had to re-up on the chicken nuggets come on you can't be a household with kids without chicken nuggets <laughs> and then for my coffee i picked up some more french vanilla i've been on iced coffee a lot um whipped cream because my daughter does like waffles as well and um she likes whipped cream on hers had to re-up on some chicken broth i never seen it this big have you guys seen it this is my first time i usually get the like the smaller little boxes so definitely had to re-up on that re-up on some mayonnaise um of course for convenience i got the squirt top for oatmeal maple brown sugar my favorites picked up some more sausage links as you can see a lot of this stuff is convenience at this point for me um some ground beef for dinner some breakfast burritos i'm pretty sure i could have made this myself but again convenience is going to be the word of the day some jazzy jambalaya soup this is so good so good <laughs> Then I just picked up some canned vegetables. I got two things of collard greens and I got two things of spinach. Again, what's the word of the day? Convenience. Uh, we had ran out of um, Cajun seasoning and I needed it for a pasta dish that I was going to be making. We ran out of uh, gravy. So I picked up, I think turkey two turkeys and two chickens i really don't do the beef that much but whatever um another craving of mine that i've been having is orange juice so i got some orange juice i picked up some fresh baked goods some donuts some muffins um these go very fast in my house the donuts do they'll eat them for snack after school um breakfast bars well i call them breakfast bars but they're really like granola bars i don't know the correct term but i get those for when we're running late and they need just something to snack on before school then we have ran out of pasta y'all i was running out of everything so i had to get some elbows and some penne pasta for again a dinner that i was making we got some fruit snacks here um, again, those go very fast. The only one who don't eat fruit snacks in my house is my daughter, which is really weird. She doesn't eat candy, only chocolate. <laughs> then you saw the lunch meat back there. I picked up some coffee on the go. Like you just pour this into some hot water. It's very convenient. <laughs> so I needed to get some more rice. This is like the third box of oatmeal that you guys seen picking up some butter because of oh, some butter some butter popcorn because we've been watching a lot of movies lately again some more mayonnaise a lot of this stuff is just like we ran out of and i need to stock back up on it so um we got the lunchables they don't really eat this for lunch they've been eating it for a snack because my kids are like 
grown people. Um, picked up some pears in a can. Now, this is something new that I picked up. It's the pina colada one. It wasn't bad, but it did upset my stomach. Okay, so don't mind the dirty dishes. Back to the Lunchables here. That's the only one they really eat or they really like the most is the turkey one. Then I got some uh, honey roasted peanuts just for me to be snacking on. We got yogurt, biscuits. The granola is for my oatmeal. The My son loves this pear applesauce and so does my grandmother. Okay, we're back to the granola. It doesn't really matter what kind of granola but this one um was cheaper so <laughs> i got it and then we just got different kinds of yogurt my son is a yogurt fiend and i like to try to keep healthy stuff in there again uh ran up on ketchup this pasta salad is crack always get the twin pack and it's always gone the same day on top of the elbows in the penne pasta i ran out of fettuccine so I had to go ahead and stock up on that. Then next up, we have some soft baked. I don't know what you call these like little biscuit things. Oh my God, those things are so good. And then I just had to get some jelly. We eat jelly for breakfast like it's one of our staples. Uh, we'll eat it on bagels, on toast, pretty much on a whole lot of stuff. Now this is new that I wanted to try and I tried it since recording this video. And it is good. Like, I don't know if it's worth the price tag, but it's definitely good. Then just some more um, creamer. So yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, I put everything in and then now I'm gonna be taking everything out to actually clean it because it was um, some spills and stains inside of it. So that was a before shot. First thing I'm gonna do, of course, is take everything out and then i'll show you exactly what spills that i was talking about so you can <laughs> understand but at the same time you got to look at the positives i got the fridge organized because as you can see it looked very packed in there i got rid through some stuff away reorganized some stuff so nevertheless it was a win-win situation So here is the stain one and of course we had stuff already in here so I didn't initially see all of this stuff um, so when I took everything out I was just glad that I actually did it and this is the big one that I was like no I can't just leave that because that's like meat juice or something I don't even know what it was <laughs> so this is all the stuff that I'm actually going to be throwing away because it's no good or it's been in the refrigerator too long this is the stuff from my two drawers that I need to go through and organize here I'm just going to be taking some warm soapy water I did put a little bit of bleach in it only because of the food spills and I don't know what it was and I just don't want bacteria and stuff going in the fridge so soapy water so uh dish detergent warm water and just a splash of bleach and i'm just going to be scrubbing everything down If you are enjoying this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know what kind of content you guys like. And let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you want to see next on this channel.
Now that I got that clean and dry, I am going to be just putting everything back, but I'm going to try to organize it as I go. And it was at this time that I thought I broke the refrigerator, you guys, because the light was not coming back on. Usually I can push these two buttons at the top and then it'll reset the whole light situation, but it didn't happen. And I was like, oh, wow, well, if, if the light's broken, the light's broken. Hopefully it doesn't affect the actual refrigerator but um, it wasn't broken, it just needed to be closed for a little while. I usually don't do the door too often, but since I was in such a cleaning mode, I just decided to go ahead and do it. Usually I just do the main part because that's where most of the spills was, but it was definitely time and I'm glad I did it because I got to reorganize things and the doors were, well, the trays in the door was actually quite filthy.
so now we are done like i said it was a win-win situation i definitely got to organize the fridge and clean up the fridge and it looks so much better even though it looks kind of empty even though i just went grocery shopping but it's a win we're gonna take this win It's time to quit while we